Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. And what is going on? What is so loud? Well, if you check out this camera angle right now, moving me is the brand new Insta360 One Art, one inch Leica mod, sitting on top of my drone, floating in the air. And this is one of the extreme tests we're gonna do to test the flow state, state position against machine vibration on top of an FPV drone or any machines compared to GoPro, Hero 8, and other cameras. So, if you are ready, let's fly! Before I show you the 10 things you need to know of the Insta 261 Art 1 inch Leica mod, you should go watch my in depth review first because this video is based on what you already know from that video. If you have extra time, I will also recommend Ben from Authentech. He also did a really great review on the 1R 1 inch and a couple of things that I missed in my video. The next 10 thing though, you probably have not seen it in anywhere else on the internet and will affect how you use this camera, especially you already bought it. Number one, focus distance. The one inch sensor Leica has a focus distance. According to Insta360, it is 90 cm. What does that mean? To better show you the actual focus distance and how is that impact how you film with this camera, I rig both camera together side by side on a slider and the camera go together from 3 feet all the way to 1.5 feet. And we again have Tanjiro from Demon Slayer as our model here. On the left, we have Insta360 One Art with 1 inch sensor. On the right, we have the GoPro Hero A. As the slider progress, we see Tanjiro getting out focus around 2.4 to 2.0 feet, and Hero A still sharp as a knife, even all the way in 1.5 feet. But is that a bad thing though? Not necessary. If you're familiar with DSLR or any cinema camera, they all have a focal distance. That is what separate an action camera, like a GoPro look camera, to a more cinematic look. As you see when the slider pull back slowly, you see Tanjiro get into focus again and has a review effects to tell the story. So it is just a different tool for you to tell your story creatively. So use it to your advantage. For a vlogger, you just need to know there is a focus distance of the one inch sensor. So make sure extend your invisible selfie stick at least three sections out like so. You should be good to go. If you are in a tight space, and the camera has to be all the way up against your face, then use the 4K mod. It's also recommended to get the 4K mod as it turns your 1R into a Hero's A. As you see right here, same slider situation, the 4K mod behaves just like Hero A. It keeps the focus no matter how close the camera to the subjects. By the way, you should get the invisible selfie stick with your 1R order. If you buy through my link with the code, you should get it for free. If the code expires, I will update you as soon as I find a new discount code on the internet. So check the description of the latest discount. And if I save you some money, don't forget to hit the like button. Number two, machine vibration stabilization. This is a tough one. 
We know by now from my other video, the 360 mod does great on machine vibration compared to Insta 360 1X. But in 2D, it is an entire different story. 2D stabilization is not as good as 360 stabilization. Lots of my viewers are motorcycle riders, bikers, race car drivers, or FPV pilots looking for the next level cinematic small body camera. So is the 1R 1-inch sensor as good as GoPro Heroes 8 in terms of machine vibration stabilization without vibration dampers? Let's find out. So now we rate the Insta 261 r and the GoPro Hero 8 on my one reel on the front of it and I'm gonna ride that and so you can see the horizon stabilization compared with these two camera. This is a tab mostly designed for motorcycle rider, race car driver, just any, any action sport that involving machine and a reel and rolling around. So this will be a good test because this is a smaller reel. So actually you will see more vibration from the ground and it's actually reloads to the ground. So you have more vibration compared to your motorcycle. So if the test looks good on here, it will definitely look good on your motorcycle. So let's go outside and ride around. So as you see, I'm holding the GoPro Max on top so you can see how straight both cameras are going and also how much actual vibration both cameras are taking from the ground. On the bottom left, we have the 1R 1 inch and on the bottom right, we have the Hero A. I'm trying to go as straight as possible here. I ran the stop sign intentionally because it is bumpy there. You see the GoPro Hero A does a really good job compared to 1R. If you pay attention to the side of the road, Hero A smoothed out all the vibration and feel like we are floating. On the 1R, we still see a decent amount of shaking. Here comes the pothole. Ugh, that was scary. Let's slow it down and watch it again. Even though Heroes A also shake, it is a lot lesser than 1R. Now, let's look at how well is 1R holding the center point compared to Hero A. Let's wait for the car. Okay, let's go. As you see, I am drifting intentionally to see how well both camera handle that and not letting the viewer getting car sick. I also put in the center crosshair to help you identify the drifting amount. Again, look up on my GoPro Max footage. I am drifting pretty hardcore like a badass. Come up. Okay, so let's see how good is the state protection of these two cameras. So you saw the result. GoPro Hero 8 is better than 1R on wheel. How about on a drone? Well, let's find out. So now we are outside. As you see right here, I rigged the Insta to just see 1R and the GoPro Hero 8 on the same drone, we're gonna fly it together so we can see the same vibration together to see the result. So let's do it.
Also, in conclusion, Hero A has better machine vibration stabilization than 1R. You can use a vibration damper like I have here to remove the problem, or you can throw in a warp stabilizer in Premiere or After Effects as you see right here. The end result is as good as GoPro or can be even better with a higher setting. Yes, for now, it is more post-production. We hope Install360 can improve this problem in the future firmware. If they can do that in 360, I think they can fix it in the one inch mod as well. Subscribe and hit the bell. You will be the first one to know when the fix is out. Number three, no stitch workflow. Lots of editors concerned of the extra step in turning the INSV file format into MP4 or MOV in post-production, as I mentioned it in my con in my original in-depth review video right here. For Final Cut Pro 10 user, you get ProRes and save your proxy time, and it is not really an extra step. If you remember, we are dealing with 5.3K footage right here, not 4K. You need a BV computer to cut a 5.3K in H.264 without proxy. ProRes though, both DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro 10 can handle that a lot smoother. For Premiere user, it is even better. Install 360 work with Adobe to have a Premiere plugin that will be installed inside Premiere when you install the Install 360 Studio plugin. You can simply drag and drop the INSV file into Premiere just like MP4 file, as you see right here. Premiere is it as a video file. This really come in handy when you film that with 360 mod, as Premiere stitch for you automatically, and they call this no stitch workflow. For one inch sensor, you can change your FOV in post production. One significant advantage compared to Heroes 8, which require you to design your FOV before filming. As you see right here, changing the FOV in also remove the barrel distortion to make your footage look less like a action camera and more like a DSLR or even a cinema camera. You can also disable stabilization for some reason if that is what you want. Why do you want to disable stabilization, you ask? Well, if your camera is on a tripod, you can disable it to get a wider field of views as you see right here. So if you want a wider than ultra wide shot, put your camera on a tripod. GoPro here is baked in your stabilization. You cannot change that after shooting if you change your mind. Number four, FOV, field of views comparison. I actually missed this in my original review, but it is really important for an action camera. So let me show you. As you see on the top, we have GoPro Heroes 8 Super View. And on the bottom, we have the 1R 1 inch ultra wide. Super View, you can definitely see more, like my hand here and the tree on the right. Let's quickly take a look at 4K mod compared to Hero 8 Super View. So, in 4K mod, 1R ultra wide is wider than 1 inch Leica mod, but it is still not as wide as GoPro Super View, as I point out on screen. So, if we are talking about pure FOV, Hero A is the widest, but in Super View, besides fisheye barrel distortion, the classic GoPro look, this hyper smooth only has two options, on and off. So, the stabilization is not as good as in Y, which has boost mode in hyper smooth. So, Pay attention when you use Super View. 24 frames per second is missing in the current firmware. So my viewer pointed out a really good point. There are currently no 23.976 FPS in the 1R 1 inch Leica. Most of the cinematic videographers film with this firmware. So it's harder for them to mix DSLR footage with the 1R. Don't worry. Install 260 already confirmed to me that 24 frames per second is coming in the next firmware upgrade, so this wouldn't be an issue. Number five, time lapse comparison. You already know one hour can do hyperlapse with super nice motion blur, just like what you see right now. 
This is one of the reason why people pick up the one R instead. Well, you can actually create the same effects with post-production frame blending with the GoPro's Heroes A as well. Want to learn how? Hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I will show you. We are not talking about hyperlap or time shift today. We are going to discuss just the old fashioned time lap. One inch sensor mod make one art leap into kind of cinematic camera category, a hybrid between an action camera and a higher end camera. One of the cool feature no one seemed to talk about it is VNG wow. photo time lap and feature only bigger size photo camera like a DSLR has. How good is it though if this falls into a professional's hand? Well, let's go to Venice Beach and film some sunset. <laughs> Hard to explain it, my heart is racing and I can't take it anymore. Now Danny gonna do a crazy time flip on random subject. It's a competition. <laughs> <laughs> so he gonna do time flip in front of a trash can and a police car and a public bathroom. Inside the bathroom. <laughs> okay, let's do, do it. it. Alright. See it. Okay, go, go, go. So we got a police car right there, a police station right there. So we try to get Danny arrested. Yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Yo, give us your backpack. Station. Give us your backpack. Just in case, you know, we can have your stuff when you get arrested. <laughs> okay, we gotta get out. Are you doing it? Just want you around me, kissing me softly. Our body's taking control. When you look at me, it's hard to breathe. It's ecstasy. The way you feel me, I have no control. When... Okay, now then you gotta do a reverse time flip. You gotta lay down like an idiot and then do a time flip. <laughs> Make sure you lay down in dog shit too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you guys hug? <laughs> hey, hey. As you see, vlogging with the 360 mod and the 4K mod interchangeably, it is actually lots of fun and can be very creative. But let's stay on topic today. Let's just talk about the time lap. Here is GoPro Heroes 8 time lap for the sunset. It is really good. Hero 8 dynamic range is significantly improved compared to Hero 7 or Hero 6, but Let's take a look at 1R 1-inch Leica DNG time-lapse. As you see, the dynamic range is significantly improved and the sky looks a lot richer in blue and the sun is a lot clearer than GoPro. Also look at my one wheel. The detail is pop and eye-catching. Putting that on Instagram is going to grab people's attention. Well, disclaimer, the video time-lapse from 1R does not look that great and the photo timeline does not look like that neither initially. But since we have 5.3K DNG photo with great dynamic range, we can be creative in post-production and create something that can match even your DSLR. This is why I love about this camera. It unlocks potential for artists to do great things, but you do need to arm yourself with the same knowledge that I have. And that's why you subscribe on this channel because I am going to help you to unlock your creativity for free with love. Number five, overheat issue. Let's test it. So now we are gonna do some battery and overheating test compare the, right here, the 1R and the GoPro Hero 8 
under the California sun, as you see right there. But today, the temperature is actually very comfortable. It's only 53 Fahrenheit, so it's pretty cold. It's a cold day. So see how long the camera will go overheat of the 1R. Let's find out. So as you see right here, right now it's already 8 minutes, 35 seconds. So it lasts longer than 7 minutes, so it's a good thing. So now as you see, I reset the camera. What happened is you see GoPro right here is still 20 minutes because still the same take and we actually start a new take because the camera actually overheat and I had to immediately click the recording again. So in this test, under the normal temperature under the sun, the overheat, it lasts around exactly actually 20 minutes. So uh, now I think we can average out. Uh, if you film in a normal situation under the sun, the one arm can usually last around 20 minutes. So as you saw the result, around 20 minutes in normal filming condition, 1R 1 inch will overheat. It throws this error message say camera is running at a higher temperature and cannot continue recording. Even you hit the record button again, it will stop you in less than a minute unless you cool down your camera. And there you go. The new firmware just released allow you to film a lot longer than 7 minutes before overheat it. Insta360 might watch my video and fix that in this firmware. It is a great improvement, but still not as good as Hero A, which lasts a lot longer. Number six, battery ready for winter. So since I live in California, I don't have a freezing weather right here. So instead of finding a mountain, I decided to put both the camera, as you see right here, inside my freezer. I know it's a little bit weird, but the freezer is below freezing point, so we know how good is the winter battery. Bye bye camera, hope you guys did not freeze up. Wait a minute. Okay, I think it has been 30 minutes now, so let's open the fridge. Check on the camera. Okay, this is GoPro right here. Try to focus. Uh, if filmed for 34 minutes, still continue. It's 40, it's 50, oh, it's 49 percent the battery level, 49. And I actually already connected to the Insta360 One X right here in my mobile app. Let me just try to focus. It filmed for 34 minutes, but the battery level, if you see right there, is 44 percent. So it's about five percent more in the Heroes A. So. In conclusion, both batteries are mostly the same. GoPro Hero 8 is 5% better than 1R in freezing condition, but they are both winter ready. So one more thing I discovered during my freezer test is, I hope you can see it, there is a layer of water fog on the one inch lens, which will fog up your camera. Hmm, that sounds funny. But on the Heroes 8, the lens is still crystal clear. No water or fog on the lens. So be careful guys, you might need to apply an anti-fog solution before you bring your bad boys up in the freezing mountains. And this is the one I would recommend for snowboarding and surfing, called Clarify. It is 100% US make and it works like magic on any camera lens. So. Get it before your winter adventure and thank your boys later when you have a crystal clear snowboarding footage. Number seven, you can shoot while charging. So we all know GoPro Hero A can not charge while recording, but 1R can, as you see right here. I'm charging it using my invisible battery stick while recording a 5.3K video. One more advantage compared to GoPro Heroes 8 or 7. Number 9, the accessory to add light. So you all know by now, GoPro is releasing media mod for Heroes 8. It is pretty pricey and one art can do all that already with a $10 USB-C to audio jack as you see right here in my last video. But one thing the media mod has, the one art does not, it is the light mod. 
is really essential in low light filming as you all see the low light quality of the action cameras. By the way, I was being critical to the low light quality of both camera. As you see right here, one R one inch actually has great low light quality compared to Heroes 8. Look at the digital noise of the Hero 8 here and one R does not have any noise even in indoor stabilization mode which is supposed to have a high ISO to remove motion blur. So the big sensor make a huge difference in low light filming. But if Hero A add the light mod, then Hero A will be better in low light because he has light. Well, if you have one R already, don't worry. Your boy is going to show you his setup right here. This is LoopQ 2.0 the smallest and the best video light for action camera. It is waterproof up to 30 feet and has 95 plus CRI. It is a professional video light on a tiny little body. I will do a full review why this is the best light for both action camera and 260 camera in my next video. But here is how I mount the LoopQ 2.0 with my 1R. With this L mount, cost about $10 on eBay. I can mount the loop cube next to my camera with a color temperature filter built inside loop cube. I can have daylight or Tungsten for indoor. This is of course a waterproof setup. This is a vlog setup that you can bring to the edge of the world and it will still work. More on that in my next video. This concludes the 10 things you need to know before buying the Insta 261R 1 inch Leica mod. Did I miss one thing? I feel like I'm missing something, something important. Oh well, comment below if I miss anything. And as always, I will get to that as soon as possible. The next 1R review hopefully will be the VR 180 mod or back to the 260 drone mod. To the Chinese who are watching this video, for everyone else, go out and create something cool. Tag me on your Instagram if you got your 1R or if you create something cool in 360. If you are new here, it will help me a lot if you subscribe and give this video a thumb up. I am still working my butt off during Chinese New Year and give you the latest info on 360 camera. And there is a new one just came into the mail. Well, you need to wait till next video to find out. Ciao. Okay, so guys, uh, just a safety warning. Don't try to do that at home with your one wheel because if you have put a pressure place right here, it actually mess up with the pressure stop right on this plate and you will crash. So this is only for camera testing. Just don't try it at home and I don't want you to like destroy your camera and fall on your one wheel.